So let me move this over so I can get a little bit better access to it. This is kind of far away from me. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the top and everything. And then I gotta go wash my hands. Um, I don't know if you can see how red my hands are. There's actually some spots here, here, here. And uh, I've been putting a lot of lotion on my hands, but I've been washing my hands so much lately they have been bleeding. So if this is happening to you, go ahead, stop, get some good hand lotion and start putting it on your hands. I know guys don't wear hand lotion, but just do yourself this favor and do that. All right, there it is. One nice Lionel Trains Ugh! box. Oh my goodness, this thing is heavy. All right, happiness is anything in an orange box. Anyway, here we go. Instruction manual. Instructions. Plug it in. Power supply. I'll put my box off to the side. Okay, so now what, what we're going to do here is I'm going to stop. Guess the thing plugged in. Read the instruction manual. Um, it's not a very big instruction manual. By the way, you always get these nice little... I only keep one of these and just end up ditching the rest. So I've got one, not keeping the rest. I keep all of these, the uh, shipping receipts, because that's your copy of warranty. I really liked the old way my Lionel did it where you could register it on the website. Hey, I bought this. Kind of made you feel good. So anyway, uh, instruction manual is not that big. I guess it's... Uh, 11 pages, so 12, basically six pieces of paper just folded. So basically, you see the cautions on the first two pages. Um, see, there's something I'm always looking for. It's always on the beginning of the Lionel catalogs. It usually says this is intended for people of the age of 14 or older. <laughs> okay, so shows you the connections, how to connect it. So now what I need to do is go ahead and get out my uh, Lionel Legacy and get that set up, plugged up, powered up. And then I'll, this shows how to, this is, I guess the same one for all of them because it's showing the ZW. Boy, would I like a ZW. But anyway, this is just basically very simple. You get this one plugs into the uh, Legacy. This plugs into the wall. Sorry, I'm about to throw stuff everywhere. Stop and get my cheap tack force knife. Ooh. And we'll cut the bubble wrap. Bubble wrap, double bubble. Bubble rubble rubble. Barney rubble. Wilma. Fred Flintstone. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. How simple can this be? Do I even really need to read the instruction manual? One reset button, one on off button. It's that simple. Hopefully I didn't do anything bad by hitting that switch with it not plugged in. Watch, there'll be something that says, do not hit the power switch before plugging in or the world will end. There we go. Unboxed. Let's go ahead and get this thing set up and I'll get the Lionel Power Master or the Legacy powering up. All right. All right. Hands washed, although I'll probably stop and wash them a couple hundred more times today. But <clears throat> anyway, that's kind of been my day for the last, just like yours. Um, really recommend Alton Brown's video on hand washing. Yes, the guy who does the cooking show. His video on hand washing is awesome. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get this set up because basically I've shown it to you. I have opened the instruction manual and actually looked at it a couple of pages. So I'm gonna need to sit down and read that. Here's some of the questions I'm gonna have, like how do I connect this to the track? So we have to figure all that out as we go along. So I'm gonna have a lot of serious uh, reading and studying to do. So we're gonna go ahead and get this set up. Here is my batteries. 
Here is the power, the uh, controller. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and open the batteries finally, yay! <coughs> Let me get, remember I'm working on like three different projects right now, so you're gonna see lots of edits going on all at the same time because I just don't have enough, enough time in the day to get all this done. Battery. 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 Okay, there's a few videos by some guys that I've seen. Uh, younger guys, you know, I don't know, 14, 15, however old they are. This is the antenna. You need this. This is this. All right. Um, and they've given some very helpful advice. Uh, one of these days I'm going to do a video and basically talk about uh, I watch this guy's video regularly. I watch this guy's videos regularly. But okay, so now what they say to do is take off this little red tab that I just dropped right on the floor. And you put the antenna thing on and get that done. So we're getting that done. So we'll see. How does this work? Let's get that on there and tighten like that. All right. Done. There's a little red tab that was on it I dropped. So we're gonna put that in there. Saving everything. So take that off. Here's my controller. Finally take this off. This off. And there you go. Final unboxing is done. Open the little Lionel thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in and let it charge. So just remember, this is always positive. The little plus sign right there, this is always negative, the flat side. All right, irrelevancies aside, po positive, positive. Okay, so this is your sequence. That, there should be no power at all in these batteries, probably. Let's power it up and see if it does. How do you turn this thing on? Okay, get that. There. That should be the power supply. Oh, CTC. On, off. Yep, just as I thought. There is no power. All right. So far, so good. So we're going to set it in the base. There we go. Now I'm going to get the power supply out. He saved several videos on how to do all of this. So uh, watch very carefully. They talk about all these little... Uh, you have one black, two blue. And they talk about what all they do, but I don't know. So we're going to find out. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and get the thing plugged in. And then we'll figure out the rest from here. How do I plug, connect this to my track power? Power. Data. Track. Whoa, it has lit up. I'm excited. See the legacy there. That really looks, really looks cool. You know, when you see these on video, it looks like some cheap, flimsy, hollow plastic. You know, like you get uh, something is shipped in. It's not. This is a pretty substantial base. I love this thing. Looks good. The Lionel lit up in orange on the side. Lit up in orange on the side. Legacy in the blue. Looks nice. Uh, I'm going to pause here. i got to get my another portion of my other project done. But love this. See how that's lit up? See how this is flashing the light showing it's, I guess, charging? So once it's done blinking, I'll go ahead and turn on the CTC thing. This is how you power it up. It's hitting that. Um, and we'll be right with you. Here's where we're at so far. So I can put all this away because here's the bottom line. The Lionel catalog seems to imply it doesn't, the Lionel catalog does not display things well. It does not explain things well at all, at all. Let's turn this on just so I can see it. Here we go. It's on, I'm excited. It's awesome, very excited. Let's 
turn that back off. All right, it's off and charging. But I'm gonna let it go ahead and keep charging. Uh, it's probably done charging by now. This is what they don't tell you in the Lionel catalog, and this is something they need to fix. They need to explain, have one page that shows, here's how to hook this up. This goes to the legacy base, which is this. Plug that in. Command base and serial com. Does not in any way, shape or form plug into this. You need something in the middle. That's the part they don't explain. So I spent all this money on this this was a grand total of uh, $495 to get this. $497, some, somewhere on there, is, you know, almost $500 to get this. This will not connect to this. You have to have something in the middle that this connects to and this connects to. So what they tell you, get the CTC lock on, the direct lock on, and you can plug this in here and the base. So you take your legacy base, which is this. Um, it looks like it's already done charging. However, you've got to have the TMCC direct lock on in between these two to bridge the two together. And then that goes out to your track. This does not plug this and this together to my track. I can plug this to my track. I cannot plug this to my track. Zero power. So that's my bottom line is that I've gotten this far. I've spent the $500. I've got all this to show for it. And I need something in the middle to make this talk to that powering my track. This is the kind of thing that Lionel needs to have in their catalog. And there needs to be more videos showing how do you hook these two together? And if you're dissatisfied, think how I'm feeling right now because I was anticipating going ahead and pulling out, you know, a different train and putting it up on my track. So bottom line, I can put all this away and start again another day. And I'm going to go ahead and run my Lionel Scout.